Moving on for now, Israel has approved plans to build more settlements in the occupied West Bank, a move that has drawn immediate condemnation from Palestine and Arab neighbors. Israel's land authority has published tenders for about 1,300 new settlement homes in the occupied territory. The new settlement homes are, are to be built in seven settlements in addition to the 2,000 settlement units announced last August. The West Bank-based Palestinian Ministry of Foreign Affairs has said that the new settlement plans could have a catastrophic impact on chances to make peace on the basis of the two-state solution. The Palestinian Prime Minister called out the move, asking the world and especially the U.S. to confront Israel. Jordan has also slammed the settlement construction, calling the announcement, uh, calling the announcement a violation of international law. Listen in. The settlement programs that have been announced and are still being announced by Israel place the world and especially the United States in front of great responsibilities to confront and challenge the fair comply that Israel imposes systematically. The West Bank was occupied by Israel in the 1967 war, but Palestinians claim all of it as part of a future independent state. But of the three million people living here, many are Jewish Israeli citizens. The Israelis living here are called settlers. They live in the West Bank, but are citizens of Israel. There are around 130 officially recognized settlements. Over 460,000 Israeli settlers reside in the occupied West Bank. These settlements enjoy widespread backing among the Israelis. Many of them view it as a religious, national or strategic necessity. Israel cites historical and biblical links to the region, and many Jews took a look at it as an integral part of the biblical land of Israel. But not all of those living here moved because of their love for Israel. House prices are often cheaper than in the major cities of Israel. The settlements are also connected to the rest of Israel by well-maintained roads. Israel maintains that these were built on vacant or unused land, but Palestinians say the land is often brought bought from them through middlemen. Most countries view settlements Israel has built in the territory as illegal. They call it an obstacle to peace with the Palestinians. The Joe Biden administration has also maintained opposition to unilateral Israeli settlement construction in the West Bank. But Israel's Prime Minister Naftali Bennett himself is against Palestinian statehood. Bennett used to be the former head of a settler lobby group. He ruled out formal peace talks with the Palestinian Authority during his tenure. Our correspondent Jody Cohen getting us more. Following the signing of the Abraham Accords, there has been a visible warming of ties between Israel and Jordan's leaders too. However, Jordan has now come out strongly against the announcement that Israel is planning to build 1,300 new units in the West Bank. The Palestinians consider the area to be part of a future Palestinian state, while Israel claims historic, legal, political and security ties to the land. It remains to be seen if this announcement will have a bearing on the Abraham Accords, with other parties understanding the need for negotiations on the disputed territory. However, this isn't likely to happen under the current leadership. This is Jody Cohen from Jerusalem for We On World Is One. We On now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.